Hey everybody, welcome back. Today, I'm going to teach you how to PvP like a pro in Blocks Roots. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. My first tip is to use Fishman Race version 3. As you can see, I've got Fishman Race here. I've got the shark fin on my back and I've got the water body ability. Fishman Race is super good for PvP. It lets you survive some crazy combos because of the ability, which for roughly five seconds, you take 90% less damage. It also lets you swim in the ocean with a fruit. That's right, you can go in the ocean, which is really good if you're trying to be defensive. And right here, I've got my sea beast. I can just hide in the ocean while the opponent has to try and fire around, dodge the sea beast and dodge me. So Fishman Race is just all around my most preferred race to use. Next is Mink because of the speed, but you should just use Fishman if you're new to PvP and want to get better. The next tip is to use Combo Fruits. Combo Fruits refer to fruits that are easy to combo with and help you to be better at the game. When you get used to a combo fruits, it helps you identify how to make combos and what fruits are actually good at the game, and not just spam fruits. Some combo fruits include ice, dark, sand, rumble, dough, and shadow, just to name a few. So if you just don't know what fruit to use, try using them. The third tip is to learn a combo. Combos are vital for PvP in Box Fruits. Your combo doesn't have to be a one-shot combo, as long as it's hard to escape from. Learning and using combos helps with the speed in which you use skills and makes you more familiar with the game. Some great weapons for combos are Spiky Trident, Ascidium Rifle, Serpent Bow, Kabucha, Dark Blade, and Pole Second Form. Oh, and also Yammer, yeah, that's a pretty good one as well. Here is an example of one combo. They were using Fishman Race like me, so they didn't take as much damage as they should have. The next tip is do not use Buddha. Buddha is great for farming because of the big hitboxes and high defense. But you are not going to get better at PvP if you use Buddha and spam fighting style and sword moves and just keep clicking and hoping that it will hit the enemy. It's just annoying to go up against. Also, Buddha makes you a bigger target and much easier to hit. So, for instance, what would be easy to hit? This tree right here or this tree obviously this one over here that's basically the size difference between a regular person and a Buddha user so just don't use Buddha unless you're trying to level up or farm and my final tip is to practice you can't get better at something if you don't practice if you want to be good at PvP then you're gonna have to put in time and effort to get better. After all, practice makes perfect. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.